Hello guys, welcome back to TechDoz and in this video we will see how to find if two strings are anagrams or not. So let us look at the problem statement. Let us assume that our string 1 S1 is listen and our string 2 which is S2 is silent. Then if string S1 can be rearranged in such a way that string S2 is formed then they will be said to be anagrams. So what is the first condition? First condition is that length of s1 should be equal to length of s2 because if lengths are not same then no matter how we rearrange string s1 we can never get string s2 okay and second condition is that count of each character should be same so count of each character is same these are the two conditions which must be fulfilled in order for a string s1 to be anagram with string s2 so how can we find whether these two strings are anagrams or not let us take a simpler example let us take a b a c okay and another string a a b c now you want to confirm whether s1 and s2 are anagrams of each other or not now the first thing which you can do is that you can use sorting on both of these strings so you sort string s1 so what it will be it will be a a b c this is S1 and if you sort S2 it will be A A B C this is S2 this is sorted in both are sorted in ascending order okay now you will compare both the strings element wise that means character wise so you are at the first location and you are comparing both the characters they are equal we move on to the second character compare both of them they must be equal wherever you find anything unequal then and there you can return that string s1 and s2 are not anagrams but if everything matches and you come to the end of string then you can return that s1 and s2 are anagrams of each other now what is the time complexity here the time complexity will be the maximum time to sort s1 and s2 so this will be order of n log n this is the time complexity for sorting okay so let us look at a better approach to solve this problem one better approach can be by using hashing okay so we will be using the hash functions and we took an example it was a b a c okay so let us take the same example a b a c and another string a a b c this is string 1 and this is string 2 now what i will do is i will make hash for both of these strings so this is hash 1 h1 and this is hash 2 h2 okay now i will just give it three values and we are assuming that our alphabet size is only three and alphabet size is the number of unique characters in your language so let us say our language contains only a b and c characters english alphabets are basically from a to z which is 26 characters but here we are assuming that we have only three characters in order to make this algorithm simple now I will just start from this A. Okay, initially they were all zeros. They were all filled with zeros. I will start from A and I will increment the count here. A corresponds to 0, B corresponds to 1 and C corresponds to 2. Okay, so I will increase the count to 1. I will go to B, increase the count to 1. I will go to A, increase the count to 2 and I will go to C, I will increase the count to 1. Okay, similarly for S2 I will go to A, increase the count and increment the pointer as well this is again a increase the count increment the pointer this is b increase the count increment the pointer c increase the count and increment the pointer so what is the final hash this is 211 for this h1 and for h2 you have 211 now you compare both this hash element wise that means index wise so index 0 of hash h1 must be equal to index 0 of hash h2 and so on you will compare for each and every index all the values of both of these hashes must be same and if they are all same then you can say that both of these strings are anagrams of each other okay so what is the time complexity in this case the time complexity will be order of length of string 1 plus length of string 2 and you know that both of these strings must be of the same length so the time complexity will be order of n plus order of n which will be equals to just order of n okay 
and what is the space complexity this space complexity is that you are taking two arrays and both are of the size alphabet size so the space complexity will be equals to order of alphabet size here alphabet size is basically 3 since we are having just 3 elements in english you can have 26 characters or in computer language i think you have 256 characters so that will be the order of alphabet size okay there is still a better technique by using hashing you can just do this by using a single hash so what was our example it was a b a c so i will take the same example a b a c and a a b c and let us see how you can do it by using just a single hash so i will create a single hash 0 1 2 okay and this is hash h this is string s1 this is string s2 now what i will do is i will just scan through this s1 and fill up these values initially which was zeros so if i scan through all the elements then this will have value 2 this will have 1 and c will have 1 these are the frequencies of each characters now what i will do is i will start from this s2 okay and i will go to this hash location of a i will decrement the value and i will see if after decrementing the value this hash value comes out to be lower than zero then then and there i will return that these are not anagrams okay so i'll just decrement it to one i move to a decrement it by one it is zero move to b decrement b by one move to c decrement c by one okay and it is zero if all the values of hash are zero then you can safely assume that s1 and s2 are anagrams of each other so let us take another example where you will see that both are not anagrams okay so i'll take a b b c and i'll take a a b c so i will just scan through this s1 and i'll make another hash and i will just keep a count of all the characters a is occurring one time b is occurring two times and c is occurring one time so this will be your hash after scanning s1 now i will scan for s2 when i start from this a i'll decrement this value to zero move on to a now i am at a I will decrement this value and it will be minus 1. Now you can see that this value has decremented. It has fallen below 0. So you can safely assume that this A is occurring more number of times in our current string S2 than it occurred in S1. So, so we can safely assume that this S1 and S2 are not having the same frequency count for all the characters. And therefore you can say that S1 and S2 are not anagrams so this is a very handy trick okay and what is the time complexity for this algorithm the time complexity will be just order of n because you are scanning both s1 and s2 once okay and what is the space complexity the space complexity will be you are taking just one hash which is of the size of alphabet size so it will be order of alphabet size okay so even though you can see that the time and space complexity are same as our previous algorithm which was order of n and order of alphabet size but still you can think that this this latest hash function where we are using just one hash is a better solution as compared to our previous hashing function okay so if you have any type of doubt then feel free to comment below and i will help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these videos see you in our next video thank you